Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So as I said, this is going to be a new playlist completely on storage buckets and how we can perform different activities and different operations on storage buckets in our orchestrator. So in this video, so in the last video we saw what our orchestration process, how can you use that template, what are persistent activities, and we also saw how we can upload a file to our storage bucket and how we can create a storage bucket. Now in this video, we are going to see particularly on how we can download a file from our storage bucket, which we know with the complete name that is existing over there. And the second thing that we can, what we are going to see in this video is how we can delete a file in our storage buckets. So these two things we are going to see particularly in this video. So without any delay, let's get started. So here are the some files that I've already uploaded. You see there are three pillars.png, demo.txt and invoice.jpg. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go to my UiPath workflow. So see, this is the same orchestration process. So if you have missed the previous video, what you need to simply do is click on orchestration process and you will have a template flowchart template generated, which will be having only two packages installed that are going to be persistent activities. And the other one is going to be system activities, which is obviously required. So now first we are going to see download storage. Now my storage bucket name is processing as we saw. Okay. And now my path. Now what path you need to enter over here is basically the file name that uh, the file name that you want to download from the storage bucket. Now you see file full path and this options are there. But your this full path is this only three pillars dot png. So now suppose I want to download three pillars dot png. Okay. So this is the path that I've given. Let's check with the name again three pillars dot png yes is proper and destination is where you want to save the file in your system along with the name that you need to provide so let me copy this and go back to my ui path and i am just going to type pillars dot png so many times it happened you know when we download some file okay when the when you click on download button, there are a box open that where you want to save or something like that. Those at that time, you change the name of the file you that want, you want to save. So that basically same thing we are doing over here. And then I'm going to stop my flowchart process. So let me execute this. And as you see, it was just a one step of activity that you can use to download a storage file. Now you see, with the changed name, it is downloaded over here and it's the PNG file and the process is completed. So let's see if the file is proper or if, if there is no image or something like that. That is not possible, but. Okay. It is taking time to load. Don't worry, it's the right one. Let's see, three pillars of excelling yourself, learn, apply and share. You can implement this as well in your life, not along with this video learn apply build your own project and share with your community okay so now we saw in one simple step how we can download a storage file now what we are going to see is we are going to see how we can delete a file in our storage let me just connect them okay so what we need to give over here storage bucket name which is going to be processing and now, as I said, path is basically the file name that you want to delete. So I'm going to click on, okay, wait, three pillars.png. Okay, let's check with the file name again, three pillars.png. Yes, it's proper. Okay. So this is how you can delete a storage file. You need to just simply drag the delete storage file activity, give the storage bucket name that is going to be the processing in this case. And then the path, path is basically the file name. Don't get confused by how can I give a path of an orchestrator file or something like that. It's very simple. It's just the normal file name. Let me execute it. Once the execution is complete and we come over here and refresh, the file will be gone. 
you see the file is deleted so you see this is basic simply like a cloud storage you store something you can download it you can delete it you can download it with and you say specific name or naming convention can be changed of that file you can't change the extension make sure if you change the extension and download the file it will come as an corrupted file so make sure you know the extension and you are downloading the right particular file so i hope you got a clear understanding after what is orchestration process and how to upload a file how we can delete and store a file now there are other activities left as well which we'll be seeing in our next video but i hope in this video you got a clear understanding about how to download and delete a file thank you for watching the complete video see you in the next video